Listen to me. Okay? Get the pitcher relief when they need relief. When a pitcher is throwing, if not a masterpiece, then at least a dominant game. Don't relieve the pitcher if they do not need relief, especially in a situation where if the game goes to extra innings, you don't want to burn through all your pitchers early. For the first six innings of the game, save for the one run that uh, Los Angeles scored in the fifth inning, they could not get anything going. In five out of the first six innings, Garrett Cole absolutely dominated the Dodgers. And in the end, even with the fifth inning, he allowed four hits, one run, no walks, and four strikeouts. And through, stay with me, folks, 88 pitches. One for every key on the piano. Now, I understand we are not in the era of Bob Gibson or Jack Morris or, hell, even Josh Beckett or Roy Halladay at this point or Tim Lincecum or Madison Bumgarner. I get that. But why the hell was Garrett Cole lifted in the seventh inning? Why? He was pitching wonderfully in the seventh inning. And they brought in Holmes, who was not very good, who with the one runner on hit a batter, of which then they had to use Canely. And I, listening to the game, walking my dog, I started shaking my head. And my dog, Eleanor, turned to me and said, Why they lift Cole? That's right. My dog knew that wasn't the right thing to do. And I said that. And my dog said that while it happened. That in the seventh inning, with Cole dealing, they burnt through Holmes and Canely. And Canely was lifted in the eighth. And they had to bring in Weaver to pitch an inning and a third. And when it went into extras, They had already used Holmes, Canley, and Weaver, who were their three most effective relievers. So they were in a situation where we're saying, Hill, Cousins, Cortez. How do you follow that with a pitch to Cortez? Because you've already used your key relievers. If, and just bear with me for a second, Cole, who had not yet even hit 90 pitches, And this is, by the way, the World Series. So you're not saving anyone at this point. It's game one of the World Series. Your ace is pitching like an ace, and we've been seeing bullpen games going left and right. To burn through Holmes and Canely when you're in the seventh, and after the eighth, you've burned burned Canely completely and have to use Weaver for an extensive period of time. You can't do that. You can't pull your ace when he's pitching like an ace in the World Series. And I've what I've I've said to people, and I've said on this podcast, and I, I believe I said it when I had Jeff Snyder on. When you pull in the bullpen games, you're assuming everyone's going to do their role. Well, Holmes didn't do his role. He couldn't finish the seventh. A seventh that didn't need relief. And what would have happened? What would have happened if Cortez had walked Freddie Freeman? What would happen if Cortez walked Freddie Freeman and then got the next out? And the game would have been tied. And the Yankees would have gone into further into extra innings without Holmes, Canley, Weaver, Cousins, and Cortez. What would you do later in that game? I don't understand it. It seems like I have a simple baseball philosophy, which is go to relief when your pitcher needs relief. I'm not saying this as someone who is rooting for the Yankees. I'm saying this 
as a baseball fan. This is, I mean, we've seen nothing will ever be more insane than Blake Snell pitching a World Series saving masterpiece and not even allowing him to pitch six. Cole is the ace. There are very few legit aces left in baseball. And the reason for that has nothing to do with toughness and nothing to do with sabermetrics and nothing to do with analytics. It has to do with money. I've said this before. I'll say it again. I'm going to do a whole piece on it in the offseason. The powers that be in baseball saw the most expensive players in the game are ace pitchers. So they designed a game where ace pitchers are no longer needed, except when they are. And your mentality is, oh, Cole fe- got a leadoff man on. Whatever shall we do? I don't know. Trust them. Trust them to get out of it. Well, you know, if you face a team, the lineup three times, da 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 Yeah, maybe part of the game is having your ace pitchers figure out how to get the lineup out the third or even the fourth time through. Notice I'm not saying he had to throw a complete game, but he wasn't in trouble. He let up a leadoff hit. Who would you rather have in that situation, Cole or Holmes? Cole, I'm going to guess 90% of you in your head said exactly that. This is uh, Rob Vegas. says, I'm a native New Yorker here at a Mets fan, proud of my team, but I know that the World Series was played between the Mets and Dodgers, the road was way more intense through the National League. Wrong episode. Uh, that's a bit of sour grapes from Met fans. Um, this is the one I meant to hit. Johnny T says, thank you. Cole is the ace. It's the whole reason you get he's in there. It's right. He's the ace. Have him pitch like an ace. I'm not saying he has to be Louis Tiant throwing a complete game and a 5-4 win with a winning run on. I'm not saying that. I'm saying he didn't need relief. I'm saying every single Dodger fan in the world exhaled when Cole came out. And maybe this is something that should be taught in the minor leagues. Maybe this is an organizational thing of pitching the mentality of how to get through that that seventh inning. But the Yankees didn't, and it cost them game one of the World Series. It cost them. Because they had the lead, and they didn't have any of their top relievers available because they needlessly burnt through them before they even got to the eighth. Why was Cortez in there? Because they already used the other ones you would want. Why was Cortez pitching in there? Well, because for reasons that poets, philosophers, sociologists, and paleontologists will try to study and never figure out. The Yankees had the only ace left in the World Series who is absolutely strong enough to pitch, if not a complete game, then deep into the ballpark. And they lifted him needlessly. Yamamoto can't. Yamamoto, who's paid like an ace, Yamamoto can't because of his injury. He's not going to go six or seven innings. I had no problem with them listing Flaherty when they did. I mean, they got they squeezed five out of them. What he did against the Mets in the NLCS, I think, was a bit of a fluke. This is kind of what you thought you're getting. They pitched into the six, and the Dodgers handled their pitching staff a little better than the Yankees because they didn't have the ace. The one thing, the one thing, is I talked with both Jeff Snyder of Locked On uh, Dodgers and Stacey Gatsoulias of Locked On Yankees. The one thing that I said gave the Yankees a slight edge over the Los Angeles Dodgers was Garrett Cole. I said Garrett Cole is the only real ace pitching. And the Yankees took that advantage, placed it in the toilet, and hit flush. Yep. Yep. And Rob Vega, who said a bunch of, you know, nonsense earlier, but he said something good here. Well, one of the game was the winning manager managed less than the other. Uh, To a degree, I agree. 
Now, whether it came from the manager or from the front office, I don't know. But this is game one. Game two is in less than 24 hours. And if it's anything like this one, we're going to have a whole lot of fun.